A Liturgy for Medical Providers by Douglas Kane McKelvey from his book, Every Moment Holy, pages 44 to 47. O oh Christ, our healer, there is no end to malady, sickness, injury, and disease in this broken world. So there's no end to the line of hurting people who daily need my tending. Therefore, give me grace, O God, that I might be generous with my kindness, and in this healing and caretaking vocation, my hands might become an extension of your hands, and my service a conduit for your mercy. For it is often not an easy place to be, so near to suffering, to injury, to pain, to emergency and fear and confusion, and sometimes even to dying and death and grief. But I believe it is exactly the sort of place you would be, O oh Lord, amongst those who hurt. So let my practice of medicine be centered in an understanding of your heart. Let me practice medicine because you're a healing God who feels compassion and extends mercy. Let me practice medicine because you are near to those who are in need, to those who face grief and loss. Let me practice medicine as a willing servant of your redemption, pushing back by means of my vocation, the effects of the fall. Let my presence in this place lend a human face to your compassion. Even when my schedule is crammed with appointments, rounds, and duties, let me never view my patients as mere tasks on a to-do list. Give me grace instead to be always, even in our brief encounters, attentive and responsive to the hearts of human beings made in your image. Let me extend kindness and mercy even to those who are too angry, frightened, bitter, or in pain to respond with anything but venom. Let me especially love them, for they suffer, even more than from physical ailment, from a lack of understanding or experience of your overwhelming grace and mercy and love. Let their time with me be to them a taste that might awaken a hopeful hunger in their hearts. I can do none of these on my own. Apart from your grace, I have no grace to give. So give me your grace in greater measure, O Lord. Let me find also, in the midst of such constant need, a rhythm of service and rest that will enable my own soul to be tended and nourished, that in the time I spend with patience, I will have a deeper repository of patience and kindness to share with them. Teach me how better to balance my duties and my days so that this work would not make me absent from the lives of my family, and friends in church. Let me be well woven into those communities and relationships, enjoying ample time with them, being available to them, and caring for their needs even as I allow them to care for mine. Let me never be so consumed by my vocation that those closest to me suffer negligence. I would not just be a doctor or a nurse or a medical provider, oh God. I would be a minister of your healing and compassion at work in your world. I would be a living witness of your love expressed in the practical care of people. I would be your disciple in this place at this time among these people. So give grace, Lord Christ. Give me grace this day and all days that I might serve you well by loving and serving others in this healing trade even laboring in view of that day when your kingdom will be fully realized at the great mending of the world, at the great mending of ills. Let me play a small part in that great work today. Amen.